meet me in the middle. Man, you have yes. to watch one, two, three, and now four. You have yes. to watch because yes. this has just been so amazing. Yes. Your yes. journey, yes. the seasons you've taken us through. Uh -huh. And we ended up on <laughs> Where woo, did we end up? Woo, so we've many been, things. We've we, been whimpering. <laughs> Yes, we've been doing all kind of things. Yes, we got the yes. tissues out now. But she was talking about, Sherry was talking about how the scar that she has mm -hmm. will it's 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 healed, but it won't it won't ever go away. Right. And it made me think about how she was talking about her journey with the Lord and how uh -huh. the Lord has mm -hmm. scars on his body that yes. will never yes. go away. He's yes. always going to remember each one of us mm -hmm. because of mm -hmm. the scars that he has. Mm -hmm. And so we want to move at this point into, you know, I guess what we call refreshing. Yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, this lady is like beaming. And it made, I mean, I'm thinking so many things as I'm sitting here talking with you mm -hmm. and Joy. One of the things I'm thinking of is you talked about how it almost felt like a Job experience, okay? And with Job's experience, he got stripped all the way down. Yeah. And then God blessed him 10 times oh, more than right. what he had before. Right. Right. But the beam that comes yeah. from this lady's soul yeah. is spiritual. Mm -hmm. It is God sent. Mm -hmm. She is God infused. Mm -hmm. And now it makes me think when people see you, mm -hmm. I think about when people say, man, you've got this joy. You've got this. What What is it that you have that I want? You're one of those people. Well, thank you. You're, one exactly right. You're one of those people. You're one of those people. And so. <laughs> <laughs> so really. Like, oh, you know, right? you know, you know, you know, you know, understand. I'm like, you know what? I remember when I was like, why, Lord, why? Yes, and now yes. I'm like, I'm like, no, you you made a mistake. This isn't yes. supposed to be happening yes. to right. me. Yes. Right. To right. why am I going through this? This is right. so not fair to, okay, Lord, I guess I have to get through it too. Yeah. Thank you, Lord, for wow. blessing me. Because well, there was a stage. There's some movement in the stage. Oh, yeah. yeah. Major yeah. movement. But you know what? It it you're a trophy now. Mm, God's trophy. No, you're, you are. Yeah, you're God's yeah. trophy. God's because trophy. Job was God's trophy. Ooh, wow. yeah, yeah. Job was God's trophy because I, when the enemy came and said, um, I let's agree. see, who, 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 who can I mess with? I, God was like, oh, I, I got a trophy for you. You said that, you know, when I was going through, as I was maturing with my relationship with the Lord, uh-huh, it was one of many hundreds of nights that I sobbed and cried and sobbed and cried mm -hmm. and sobbed and cried. I finally was too exhausted to mm -hmm. sob and cry anymore. Mm -hmm. And I was back whimpering. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just, mm -hmm. it was just mm -hmm. not anything else you can do or say. It's like all the tears were just dry. It was just, I, all I had was just, I just yeah. was, I was a, a piece of, I just wasn't. Yeah, that, I just wasn't yeah, anymore. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and dropped in my spirit and said, touch not my anointing. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, wow. And I was like, what do you mean you're anointed? I'm not anointed. Yes. I want to get yes. out of this situation. Yes, I want yes, my sir. life to be better yes, again. Yeah. Touch yeah. not my anointing. Ooh. And I said, well, anointed for what, Lord? I said, I'm not, I'm not a preacher. I'm not a writer. I'm, I'm just a woman. I want to go back home. Ooh. I want my life to be over. And it was like, touch not my anointing. And I was just like, ah. You just said two things. I'm not a preacher. I'm not a writer. Maybe you are a preacher. Maybe you are a writer. Because you're God's trophy. But here's the thing. Yep. I'm hearing you talk and you're describing huh. your, your word descriptions. Yes. I'm like, you need to put that in, in a book. book. Yep. You yes. need to write. Yes. 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 And not yes. only that, as a writer, I believe you will be a speaker. You already are. But that you will speak those words yes. out because there are people out there that need to hear your story and need to get the, the encouragement. And they need to hear... We didn't talk about the nitty gritty, mm -hmm. you know, other stuff, mm -hmm. but they need to hear the nitty gritty of your emotions mm -hmm. as you were going mm -hmm. through that journey. And as you're still going through it, as you still said, this is bringing up this well, oh, not yeah. that well, and you again, the whimpering well, <laughs> yeah. you know, and that's important because somebody out there might say, thank God. Somebody else feels what I'm feeling yeah. or somebody else went through. I thought I was the only one. Mm -hmm. And especially... Mm -hmm. 
you said, you know, your life was so different before. All of a sudden, you, you know, when you were like maybe 15, 16 years old, you didn't say, oh, one day I hope to find myself in a shelter. Right. One day I hope to be homeless. Right. One day I hope yeah. to, you know, be struggling and, you know, not have anything and be through. You know, that's not anything anybody sits back and says, you know, I can't wait for that. You don't day. exactly plan for it. No. 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 Uh -uh. no. Okay. Mm. You talked about two things that get you through, okay? And still, is you already mentioned one of them, and one of ours is I can't remember now. I'm losing mm -hmm. track. But there were two things you mentioned, and I know them, but you know them. <laughs> tell us, tell them what are the two <sighs> phrases that so often get you through? Still, probably. Be still and know that I am God. Mm. It just yes. sits in my spirit. Mm -hmm. And I was just sharing with you before the show about yeah. my car yeah. and how I just walked out the house and my daughter said, Mom, don't worry about it. It's, it's going to work out. It's going to work out. And, and I feel at peace with that. Yes. And, and it's funny now because in my, in my old Sherry days, uh -huh. I would have been whipped into a tizzy yeah. because of things that I that were beyond my control mm -hmm. or just, mm -hmm. just bent out of shape mm -hmm. and just mm -hmm. and I'm I'm so much better now wow. because mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. all that I've gone through and right. my hissy fits about not hissy. wanting to go through it and my sadness and, and learning how to put on my Big girl panties, yeah, and lacing up my boots, and, yeah. and yes. fighting against it, and mm -hmm. then accepting it, and then resting in it, mm -hmm. and now, still. yeah, anything yeah. that I, I realized twelve years later, mm -hmm. had it been my time, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be here right now. Mm -hmm. And through everything, I still wake up and mm -hmm. take that breath and go, you know what, Lord, it's all good. Yes. Whatever is going on that I could spin into a, a right. tornado yeah. in my mind is right. just that in right. my mind. Because, because, because he's in control. That says, well, this too shall pass. Yes, yes, yes. yes. This too shall so pass. You, you, you're living that out. I, yeah. I mean, you, you got some anchor for your soul. Yeah. And mm -hmm. you got tools mm -hmm. for the journey that mm -hmm. that you, I can tell, are not letting go of for you. Dear life. Yes, you're holding on for dear life. On. But like yes. we were talking before, God is teaching us to learn how to rest. Yes. In yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Because he's the creator. Because right. he made everything. Right. He's right. teaching us to rest in him. Right. And through your journey, yeah. Of twelve years, yeah. that is quite yeah. the okay. Yeah. I mean, but think about quite the children the of Israel. Right. Yes, right. Think about the children yes. of forty I mean, years or a war torn 40. country. Yeah, right. it's, right. it's, yes. it's almost right. it's it's a different experience, but a similar type yes. of yeah. trauma. Yes, right. It's 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 what you knew that isn't there anymore. Right. Unfamiliar territory, right. having to to learn new things yeah. and do mm -hmm. new things mm -hmm. and. Become someone that you never knew you could be, and, mm -hmm. and it's just been beautiful. I wouldn't have said that 12 <laughs> years ago. Yeah, I don't even know. We're, we're going to keep rolling for just yeah. a minute here, okay? Yeah. We're yeah. going to go over time just a minute, but let me tell you. So we talked about, help me remember, we talked about re the realization yes. moment. We talked about right. the reckoning yes. moment. We talked about restoration, restoration. restoration and redemption. And then we also talked about refreshing. refreshing. Yes. Wow. Okay, now let me just tell you, the Holy Spirit gave us all these R's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you think only Baptist preachers get the <laughs> but we, we preach in today. Yes, yes. Church up in there. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, but the other thing, you know, I want, there's a couple of things we need to end with, you know, so we're going to go on for a minute, but if you're looking out there and you're seeing the faces of single moms, you know, with babies or with pregnant or children in tow, and they're in a situation that you found yourself in, that you didn't ask for, didn't want, never want again, what would you want to say to them right now? Receive him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just receive him. Oh. He was knocking at my door, and I was like, no, God, not now. This is not the moment. I don't want to deal no. with this. This can't be my life. Tell me this is a dream. No. And he just 
they just let me rant and rave and have it fit until I just couldn't fit anymore. And he just said, if you'll just perceive me. Mm. Wow. And you know that what? I did not expect you to say that. Right. Not that, I mean, <laughs> that's the best thing ever. And I, I can't even imagine. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. I'm going to say something. <laughs> So, like I said, when I first met Sherry, which was just yesterday, mm -hmm. actually, just mm -hmm. I mean, I had mm -hmm. just met her, and I, we're best buds for life. Now. <laughs> Somebody gave me a magnet one time and said, We're best friends forever, you know too much. <laughs> so, that, that's, where, that's where we are, we're bonded for life. But the joy that mm -hmm. we've talked about this mm -hmm. in either this yep. episode or another one, I'm losing track. The joy that comes out of you, yes. out of just the suffering that is so deep, you know. Yeah. So when I was growing up, um, well, anyway, this morning I was thinking about, you know, us filming our meeting in the middle episodes today. And I was just thinking about you and thanking God. I just, I wrote you down with a list of people that I had met um, on Thursday of this week that are just deeply impacting mm -hmm. the kingdom mm -hmm. of God. Mm -hmm. um, Deep impactors, mm -hmm. okay. Speaker, writer, you are. Mm -hmm. and just want to speak that into your life. life. That's right. right. That's right. <laughs> but um, I was writing off some of my journal, and the Holy Spirit just brought an old song from my childhood mm. to my mind, and I looked up the words. And do you mind if I read it? Are you gonna sing it? No, I'm not gonna sing it. I'm not. Who knows? <laughs> who knows? But um, it said. Um, see if you relate to any of this, because I don't know. I have found his grace is all complete. He supplieth every need. While I sit and learn at Jesus' feet, I am free. Yes, free indeed. Absolutely. It is joy unspeakable mm -hmm. and full of glory. It is joy unspeakable and full of glory. Oh, the half has never yet been told. Now listen to this, I have found the pleasure I once craved. It is joy and peace within. What a wondrous blessing I am saved mm, from yes. the awful gulf of sin. And whether the sin of all of us and the sin done to us or the sin we've done, yeah. there's a gulf of sin. I have found that hope so bright and clear living in the realm of grace. Oh, the Savior's presence is so near. I can see his smiling face. I have found the joy no tongue can tell, how its waves of glory roll. It is like a great or flowing well springing up within my soul. Joy unspeakable and full of glory. Wow. Oh, the half has never yet been told. Mm. And that's you. Yep. That is. And this was written, that's by you. the way, by Barney mm -hmm. Warren in 1900. Let me just say many, many, many years ago. But it, that's a, mm -hmm. that's embodiment of her. it is, isn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. It's not me. Please don't mistake that because yeah. if it were me, I would have just been like, I'm not doing this anymore. Yeah. And I would have left and I'd have walked away and I wouldn't be here. I'd well, be somewhere else. The Spirit of God Thank you. fills <laughs> your soul. Yes. Thank you. And yes. that's why we can say, because you co labor with Christ. Oh. Mm. That you are the embodiment of that. And if it wasn't for him, I probably wouldn't have made it. I know I wouldn't have made it. Okay, wait a minute. Everybody get one M&M. Okay. Go ahead. Close this out. Pick up yeah. one. Just pick up one. Don't eat it yet. Don't eat it. 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 Okay. Okay. Don't eat it. Okay. Toaster M&M's. Right. We got three M&M's. Yep. Boom. Thank you. Oh. Thanks for joining us. Please come back next time. Love you all. Take care. Bye.